All right, so here we are on a trip through the needles with Mikey, Eric, and my mom. Hello. What? Hello. Sorry. I got the video going. Hi. <laughs> trees, trees everywhere, trees. trees. Looks pretty good up here though, Eric, because you're complaining about the pine beetles. It does seem like the pine beetles are starting to go into recession. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Because about eight years ago, or no, when is it? About 10 years ago when Ken and Penny and myself were up here, <coughs> oh, that was a cattle get or something. Right around the cabin is brown. Mm. I'll bet. It's like, no, you never want to get lost on this road at night. Oh, God. I don't. I can imagine being on this road at night. Like, oh. Who would have right mind me going on this road at night? Even with a death wish. So, therefore, no one. Yeah. In their right mind. Driving a Polaris up here, not pushing. Oh, jeez. That's what a death wish is trying to drive a semi up here. No, this is not a semi road. You could huh? not. Oh, they would not let you on it. That's mm. what 385 is. That's why they built 385. What happened to Eric's camera, Jody? It broke somehow. Did you like hit it on something, Eric? I told you. To fix it. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure, and I said it when you were coming out of the cabin, dear. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure whatever damaged the um, the lens. Off highway travel restricted. Um, but you don't know what damaged the lens. Yeah, whatever damaged the lens finally caught up to the camera. Yeah. Well, that could have been you hitting it on something, but I don't remember you hitting it on anything. Yeah, and that's the problem. We're trying to think back all the way to the light fork, like. Our Last time the camera was in one Is that a big nest up in the tree? That looked like a big nest. Eagle or something? <laughs> so I'm guessing you can see who went to the rapper and then. No, Dave. Dave knew who went to rapper. That was not easy. No, it's not easy. I would have killed easy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Eric does not like easy. No, he's from Atlanta, Georgia, I think. Arkansas. Arkansas. Barkman, Arkansas. Okay. I, I'm forgetting who the Canadian is apparently. Sorry. Dave is the Canadian. Okay, so yeah. Dave, I guess, flew into Rapid. Yeah. yeah. Probably by a dead <laughs> I think so. Yes, he did. I remember him, <laughs> remember Eric, he commented on how big uh, Denver Airport was? Oh, yes. It's the biggest size wise. It's not the most traffic, but in terms of raw land space, it's the biggest. Yeah, he was commenting on like the trolleys and stuff. Yeah, it's one of the things about the IAs. They designed it, they overbuilt it. It can handle, I think, like three times the <coughs> what it does right now. Yep. It's so, so future proof. Oh, yeah. Because um, the general public doesn't even see all the cargo runways that they have for that darn place. Yeah. Because they have separate passenger and cargo runways. Huh. Because I know there's four runways. In Beautiful scenery. But I know there's multiple runways. I've only been on, I think, two of them. I, don't re I can't remember which one Dave was on. Yeah, I think uh, there's a pair of north-south that is used for passenger, and there's a pair of them that's used for cargo. And then Mike, when he flew back, he had to do the roundabout way and go through Dallas. I'm not kidding. Beautiful. Dallas, Texas. Well, south, his Dallas flies back up. It's however United Express has it, because they're the only carrier that goes to Rapid. Yeah. What's hilarious is my trip to Japan, or to Guam. I was going to say. Was, I went from Denver to Washington, <laughs> to Japan, <laughs> to Japan. Across the Pacific like two and a half times. Nah. <laughs> it, was like, it was a 14 hour trip or some shit. You, you know, Mike, Eric told me, some, ah. told, told me something interesting about Guam. Did you know that it's perpetually shaking? Really? I did not know that. It was something I found out because um, there's some, when we're on the cable, one of the, I think it was actually either a sailor or a wife <laughs> sailor. <laughs> They were pretty sure they felt an earthquake. Mm -hmm. And I went, well, hey, that's possible where we are. And I looked at the USGS data yeah. for Guam. And it's just continually. All squirrely lines. I'm just like going back in history. It just there was no There was no out. straight lines. None. Yeah. And it's just like I couldn't figure out which was the upper line and which was the lower line because they crossed over each other so much. And as I was talking to Jody just like, Today, I realized that it's probably the fact that it's a coral island, and that's the ocean currents constantly hitting it and causing it to bounce really? ever so slightly. So it's not actually volcanic. Ice. 
the, no, the, and, they, and, and the people there wondered why their buildings kept falling down. They thought it was just like shitty building. Uh-huh. Nope. Your island just keeps moving because those sensors are very sensitive. It doesn't have to move much. Yeah. And as I was thinking about it, it's like just that little bit of ocean hammering mm-hmm. would do it. Yeah, and then it. Ooh, there's a convertible coming. And the convertible pulls to the side. Probably because he doesn't want to get hit by a car. <laughs> Convertible. Yeah. Oh, oh god. That's that fun. guy was a little bit into my half of the road. Yeah. It did, it did. <laughs> this might get painful for me in a minute. I don't know how many more feet I can go up. Why, your car has altitude issues? I have altitude issues. That's a painful for me. Oh. My ears don't pop very easily. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. I just get vertigo when I'm in high places. <laughs> oh, there's the brown trees, Eric. Yeah. Get some high fields up here. That was almost a Do you have any idea if they did the fireworks display up at Mount Rushmore this no year? No idea. I just need a little hair. We meant, we meant to look. I got it. I got it. He got She's got it. I'm going to take some air, too. <laughs> hey, I will, but I don't need air blowing on me, my Good. Okay. Yeah, my, you know my grandma would know what those yellow flowers are. Your grandma would what? Know what those yellow flowers are? Yeah. Cause she knew all flowers. She liked flowers. If I ever saw a wildflower I didn't know, I'd be like, Grandma, what's that? And she'd tell me. Clover, probably. Someone say a wallflower? <laughs> mm. <coughs> Check out the view. This is a beautiful point. Yes, indeed. Let's see where we're going over here. Yeah, look at this, Mom. Oh, Isn't that beautiful? Goodness. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop the recording because Erickson takes some pictures. I may start it again later.